Alright guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking an over the top beautiful Saturday night here in the end times where I am uh, looking at this beautiful, uh, what is this, about a third of a moon starting to set in the western sky. And I hear the Perseid meteor shower starting after midnight tonight on this unbelievably gorgeous, it is Saturday night, August, good lord, is it August 11th? Is it the 10th or 11th of August 2024? Somewhere in there. And uh, <clears throat> so, uh, as you may or may not know, two blocks from me, and I can, you probably can't hear it here on the, on this uh, video, but two blocks from me is this big ass party going on on this beautiful, uh, Saturday night, uh, you know, there's like 30 bands playing, and there's people, there's fire spinners, uh, there's food trucks, I see a soul food truck down there, uh, it is the, one of the big social event, well, it's the biggest social event uh, within a 20 mile radius of me of the year spectacularly gorgeous Saturday night uh, as I say don't know if you can hear the music thump in uh, beautiful beautiful women uh, mostly hippie chicks um, two blocks from here and, uh, so what am I doing while wow, this is going on two blocks from me? You're all the former social butterfly. You're, you're lonely old man with broken teeth. I was sitting here on my second drink, sitting here alone with my thumb up my ass. I'm actually kind of <clears throat> trespassing in uh, this tiny house one of these uh, miserable wet hippies came crawling out of the mud and rain begging a tiny house uh, <laughs> here after the big blow here so I'm, I, I put these wet muddy hippies in the tiny house so they're down there partying and they're saying you know, they were heading they, they left down there eight hours ago and they said well Sam are we gonna see you down at the party and I made some excuse about, uh, well, you know, I have an Airbnb to run or whatever. And uh, so we have a full house here tonight. Big ass party going on. Beautiful night. Uh, I can see a fire in the fire ring up on the hill. Uh... I have, uh, so I have three couples, uh, three different couples in uh, all the tiny houses, all of these people in love, going to parties, uh, sitting around the fire, this, this lesbian couple just pulled out of here, heading to Maxie's Supper Club in Ithaca, New York, and I am sitting here alone with my thumb up my ass on my second margarita uh, and uh, contemplating the newest depressing fact I I learned about myself you know I I figured out months ago that I am as the Bob Dylan song says I am an old man with broken teeth stranded without love but I guess there's an official name for that and you don't even need to be a man and you don't even need to have a broken teeth you, you can be a woman 
with uh, with really nice teeth or false teeth. Uh, so I guess I am a few weeks away from almost being an elder orphan. I have I've never heard the term elder orphan uh, showing up today. A, a just the 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 latest way. Just when I did not think I could get more depressed and uh, humiliated uh, about my uh, the dark future of, of my worthless, pointless existence, I, I stumble on this term elder orphan. So I guess technically I need to be 65 so uh, when I'm officially elderly... Uh, I, I guess I, I have six weeks of youth, of my youthful 64-year-old uh, self, but then I will officially be elderly, and I can't claim that I am an elder orphan. There's one person standing in my way of me being an elder orphan, and that is my sister who is just here, my dear sweet sister, who, you know, she lives in Vermont, about six hours from here. So, uh, and of course, my sister is eight years older than I am. So, my, the, the, the one technicality keeping me from being a, an official elder orphan is uh, the fact that I have one living sibling still speaking to me. Now, of course, I, I have four siblings. One of them is dead. One of them I have not spoken to since 1997. Another I have not spoken to since 2019. Uh, so, I have, I have whittled it down from four to one sibling who still gives me some emotional and in my sister's case uh, in a real financial pinch I do have a rich sister uh, you know as I'm falling through the ice uh, maybe to throw me a bone so uh, if my, if my dear sweet sister, as I say, who already uh, has six years on me, if, if she goes and dies, then I will officially be an elder orphan. Uh, there's, I, I, I was going to, you know, read, oh, there, there, I mean, good Lord, there's YouTube videos on this. There's all sorts of articles. Never heard the term, uh, but but basically, the, the definition of an elder orphan, the, the my this this is my definition of an elder orphan, is is a a 65 year old who just looks at their pathetic, worthless, pointless, lonely, miserable existence and uh, just understands on a cellular level that they're fucked. That uh, from, from here on out, uh, with each passing day, certainly with each passing year, uh, life is just, it's just going to suck. Uh, the, the aging process is not for pussies. Uh, I mean, it, it, the aging process is, is not for pussies, even if you're like my sister, uh, who's in a very happy, secure marriage uh, with her husband of, uh, what, 35 years. Uh, they still seem very much in love. Um, a, you know, a big, fat bank account. Uh, children, grandchildren, uh, dozens of friends, packed social calendar, uh, 
But anyway, being an elder orphan, I just, I, I, just, I, I just lost my train of thought. So my sister is, uh, is the absolute 180 degree flip side of me. Uh, but at least my sister does make a little bit of time and effort in her life to keep me in hers. But, uh, uh, but, 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 but if, if, if she dies, then I'm officially I'm, a, I'm officially an elder orphan that uh, and, 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 and I'm sure a few people, particularly one person listening to this, will kind of blow the whistle. Uh, so, it, 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 you know, what it was talking, and, 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 and I've been reading up and listening to uh, videos, so what, what one, the way one woman described it on, on YouTube, and I uh, noticed she has 24,000 followers on YouTube, 24,000 followers on YouTube, Yet she uh, calls herself an elder orphan with no support system, and uh, you, you know she thanked her imaginary friends on YouTube. Uh, this her video that I was listening to about her own discovery that she was an elder orphan had over eight thousand views, hundreds of comments very supportive, loving comments, but imaginary friends on social media do not count as a support group. I don't give a fuck how much these people say they love you and you love them. The way this word love is tossed around on social media, guys, it, 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 as much as I love you guys, uh, it, 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 it isn't the same, and, you know, she says, you know, I, I've got friends scattered around, you know, my friends who haven't died on me. Uh, she was 69 years old. It, you know, my, my living friends are scattered to the wind. What she was talking about is, is exactly... <clears throat> What, what, what I've talked about is that she just doesn't have a, just a, you know, a, a, a gang to run around with. Just running buddies. She, she not even talking. I mean, she completely laughed off the notion that she is ever going to find a, a, you know what I'm saying, a, a partner, just a, whatever word you want to use, that ain't going to happen. That uh, once you hit 65 years old, uh, if, if you're not in a, you know, a committed uh, relationship, uh, it, 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 it ain't going to happen. And, and, and just forget about it. You have a better chance of, uh, you know, getting struck by a Perseid meteor uh, tonight uh, than, than you do finding a life partner uh, from the age 65 on. If you're alone on your 65th birthday, uh, you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. And, of course, it's loneliness and social isolation uh, that are, are, are the, the two, number one and number two, uh, de defining characteristics uh, of an elder orphan is, uh, is loneliness and social isolation. And uh, even if you have friends... Uh, that that you see uh, once uh, you know once every uh, three months uh, once every year uh, what it, it doesn't count 
it does not count. Uh, it's it, it's just uh, you know I have nobody uh, that I can call and say hey uh, and, you know male female uh, nothing to do with romance there there is nobody that I can call right now and say hey uh, the biggest party uh, in uh, in the whole area uh, on this beautiful Saturday night is going on two blocks from my house. Uh, you know why don't we go? Why don't we go to this party? I have nobody that uh, nobody, nobody, uh, a planet of eight billion people. So you know it was a few nights ago. <clears throat> uh, when uh, Sister Sandy came, when it, Wednesday night, you know, Sister Sandy came to visit uh, for the first time in three months. He, he, he knows, uh, I, I don't know if, if Sandy considers herself an elder orphan or not. Uh, so she came to visit for one night for the first time in three months. And we got together with the, this uh, Doomer couple in Ithaca. And it was actually the third time I've seen them uh, in three months, unbelievably. And then we were joined by that young fellow, Grant Lee, who I've, um, who I've had a couple of interviews here so it was the five of us on a Wednesday night just meeting for dinner just five people uh, two elder orphans a, a a couple and a young lone wolf the five of us just hey guys let's go into town go to the Middle Eastern restaurant and, and, and have a meal together, just sitting around uh, five people, uh, four of them doomers, one of them a doomer in training, and uh, granted, I call him a dit, a doomer in training, uh, sitting around uh, a table of good food, enjoying each other's company uh, for about 90 minutes. It's the first time the first time and probably the only time that that is the first time in the year 2024 first time in the year 2024 that five friends one couple and three solo getting together uh, breaking bread together uh, there, there, there was no alcohol at this place, so we, we weren't even drinking, you know, stone sober, just, just having a, a five friends, uh, having a, a pleasant meal together uh, on a Wednesday night. It, it is the first time in the year 2024 I, I, I have had that experience, and it quite possibly could be the last time that uh, that I will uh, that that I will be having dinner, uh, sitting at a table of five people, uh, uh, ha having a fucking meal together, and it felt damn good. It, you know, just hanging out uh, w w with a group of running buddies, uh, just, just talking shit. Uh, sharing a good meal together, uh, and, and and the elder orphans, you can kiss that goodbye. Uh, you know, in my years as a socialite uh, in, in Austin, Texas, good Lord, uh, I would say 250 nights a year uh, I, I was getting together 
with various groups of friends, uh, having dinner, listening to live music, uh, sitting around a living room, playing music together. Uh, you know what I'm saying. And, uh, and, and, and I hear this as a recurring theme of so many of these elder orphans uh, writing these uh, essays and putting these YouTube videos that what the fuck happened to that? Uh, if I were to move back to Austin, Texas, would I recreate that? And, and I'm not at all sure that I would. Uh, when I do talk to my former running buddies, the few that I talk to, uh, one of the recurring themes that I hear from them is, is that they don't do it either. You know, you, did, you, you just reach a certain age and, 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 and people are just wondering, you know, several of my... Uh, my friends are like like, like Hambone. You, you were the one uh, who was always initiating uh, th these picking parties, and without you, uh, you, you know, to do the leg work, uh, we we don't get off our fucking asses. You were. Uh, I, I hear <laughs> this from several people. That, uh, that that if Hambone isn't there being their social director, they're living in fucking Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world. Uh, and, and they're spending more and more and more and more time uh, sitting at uh, home alone uh, with their thumb up their ass, uh, drinking alone, uh, playing music alone, and watching fucking Netflix uh, going on Facebook and all this shit. It's just, uh, it, 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 it's just the absolute lack of personal connection. Then, of course, you know, hearing from all these fucking shrinks uh, about, uh, uh, you know, how to break out of the downward spiral uh, of being a uh, just a, a a a socially isolated, depressed, uh, lonely old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, is, is that you got to get off your ass and, and uh, get out there uh, and, and make friends, and it and it just gets harder and harder and harder. You just, you, my get up and go just got up and went. Uh, it, it, you know, if, if I were even 10 years younger, I, I, I wouldn't think twice I would be down at that party. But just in, you know, the whine that I, that I had uh, just recently that got all of that just really nasty uh, comments just like this one is going to get. Uh, these absolutely ugly, nasty comments uh, attacking me uh, for, for that video that, uh, that I uh, put up. Uh, kind of along this, this same thing, when I did not even realize I was an elder orphan. Uh, but, but now I have, I have another label, an elder orphan, uh, good fucking God, it's just like an L, what the fuck is an elder orphan, it, 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 it's just like a, it, 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 it's just like a fucked, what, a, elder orphan, I, can you think of a more depressing term? And um, one of these long things, they were claiming that 22%, 22% of uh, people 65 and older uh, in this country uh, could be classified as elder orphans. 
meaning that they're just totally fucking alone. They're socially isolated. They're they're totally fucking alone. Uh, and just and 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 their their future is just absolutely bleak that this one it was it, it was the six stages the six stages of uh of being an elder orphan and just getting more well less and less independent and and, and as you age that uh, you get more and more and more dependent on other people to uh, you know to to, to, to help you, and uh, for millions of Americans, and then it, they're saying it's going to be the year 2035. 2035 is when there's going to be more people. 65 or older than 18 or under and that this term elder orphan uh, you're, you're gonna hear more and more about this as, as millions and millions of, of Americans uh, just and uh, are, are, are just gonna be more and more fucked uh, the the rates of loneliness, depression, uh, the dependence, helplessness, just the, just this dark, bleak future uh, 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 of this the social outcast. Uh, it, it it's just. Just the, the 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 thought of it, the the you know growing old is it is not for pussies, and as I say, I compare myself to to most of my friends my age. Well, half of them in Austin died this year. Uh, I, I I mean I I, I look at. Uh, these guys my age and they're old men they're fat just just physically falling apart uh, I, I don't know one of my friends my age who could do one half uh, of what I do I'm, I'm just talking physically and uh And, and, and just millions and millions of Americans uh, are, are are moving into this and and, and uh, just waking up and, and learning that they're elder orphans that they're all alone in this fucking life <clears throat> so yeah my 72 year old sister in Vermont is the is the one thing saving me from being an official elder orphan but I I am, I am so thrilled to learn that uh, in six weeks uh, I, I will for all intents and purposes just, just be able to add elder orphan to lonely old man with broken teeth stranded without love sitting alone on a gorgeous fucking Saturday night while two blocks away is the single biggest party of the fucking year. So anyway, <clears throat> that is what I am up to on this gorgeous Saturday night, so I guess my, my options are... Uh, I, I, I can uh, get out of this chair, get out of my bathrobe and my bedroom slippers, which I already have on at 9 o'clock on a Saturday night, get dressed, uh, brush my damn hair, uh, get in the party mode, and uh, walk two damn blocks 
uh, to this party and, 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 and hang out with all of these uh, mostly young, beautiful people uh, who have no clue how fucked they are. Or I can uh, see if Veg, the aging hippie, has a new video out. Uh, the aging process. Jesus fucking Christ. How did I get here? You know, my father <clears throat> died at age 42. Uh, he, you know, actually, literally fucking some young woman in a motel room in Pensacola, Florida. <clears throat> dropped dead. Talk about coitus interrupti. That's how my father died at age 42, and his father <clears throat> died in his 40s. I think it's safe to say I, uh, I, I, I am not going to die uh, uh, fucking some uh, woman half my age in a motel room in Pensacola, Florida. Oh, oh yeah, and, and, and the final kick in the ass. The final kick in the ass of one of these articles I was reading, what they did was <clears throat> they ranked the top 20 big cities in America as being the best place to be an elder orphan coming in number seven, Austin, Texas. That Austin, Texas, number seven uh, as the best place to be an elder orphan uh, where you're not going to be lonely and socially isolated. And uh, so if you're looking for a big city, number seven on the list, uh, Austin, Texas, I can't even remember the first six, so then they had this thing called small cities going around looking at thousands and thousands and thousands of small cities. I start going down the list. Number seven out of uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of small cities Number seven on the list, Ithaca, New York. Ithaca, New York. <laughs> uh, is the seventh best small city in America to not be a socially isolated, depressed Lonely old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, elder orphan. And, uh, <laughs> all this elder orphan can do is laugh. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up and get back at listening to the music from two blocks away while I still can bye guys